Sorry. All right, didn't see you standing there. Welcome to the library. How can I help you? You're looking for trucks. Uh, this is a library. Uh, uh, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit confused. You're going to have to give me more details um, if I'm going to help you find you what you need. Uh, so you're... Okay, so your minister told you to prove all things, and you assumed you needed to find the Toyota Proving Ground? <sighs> all right, uh, um, okay, let me tell you a story. A few years back, our town had a newsworthy event. Of course, when that kind of thing happens, uh, uh, what shows up? What shows up in droves? Uh, reporters. Okay. And, you know, I just, coincidentally, I just happened to be at the post office at the time of one of these nicely dressed, um, smart, well informed reporters came in. He, he walked into the post office, looked around, you know, a, bit conf a, bit, a bit confused. And he asked me, um, where can I find the town? I looked down. Uh, simply, simply stated, I told him, "Dude, you're in the post office. You're standing in it. Um, got your Bible? Oh, you didn't think you'd need one because you were looking for a truck. Uh, okay, use mine. Dust free. Okay. Go to First uh, Thessalonians five twenty one. There's a simple admonition that we're going to just walk through a little bit. We like to keep things pretty simple at the library here. You got it? Okay. Prove all things. Hold fast to that which is good. So, prove all things. Hold fast to that which is good. Now, why would God feel the need to use the term all things? Uh, real simple. Simple. I think it's real simple here because there would be some that would only be proving some things. Think about it. When you go to Revelation 12, verses 16 and 17, you seem to find two groups at the end in the church. And those that are protected and from the flood that the dragon casts out. And those that the dragon goes to make war with. Uh, now, how are they distinguished apart from one another? Well, it comes in verse 17. It simply states, they keep the commandments. And I find it interesting how some versions state it. They maintain their testimony. It's, it's worthy to think about on that. Now, what's clear, what's absolutely clear in this latter group, they thought they were doing enough. They thought they had it all. But it's clearly they only had it some things or most things you got to remember that this proving also got to remember okay this proving of all things it happens on both sides okay god is also proving as well and that has referred, refer, is referred to in um psalms 26 2 now the second part of the verse that we're looking at is uh there's added admonition. Hold fast to that which is good. So we have a condition in the church where people will be proving only some things or many things. But now it also implies that people would not necessarily be holding fast to that which is good. If you have to state if they hold fast to that which is good, it kind of implies that people would be holding fast to things that are not good. Now, does the Bible define what that is, or what that could be, what that might be? It does. It does. First uh, Corinthians uh, five six. It's it's pretty clear. First Corinthians five six. Your glorying is not good. Know ye not? Okay, so he's asking a question. No, you're not. Yep, they did not know. They thought they had it all correct. In fact, you look in the uh, the context, they, th they had some of it correct. Okay, a little leaven leaveneth the whole lump. Now, it's really simple. Let's follow the bouncing ball here. 
If you only prove some things, or many things, then you re leave some room for leaven, and that gets into all things. And then you wind up holding fast to things which are not good. Now that proving ground, mister, your you know, the, the proving ground you're looking for, all I can say is, dude, you're standing in it. Anyhow, thanks for visiting the library where we like to keep all things within easy reach.